This is the great legend and I'm coming at you live with another video of my 29 gallon fish tank. Today we're going to look at some of the parts inside the fish tank and uh, critical parts that you're going to need when setting up your own fish tank. Let this be kind of like a how-to video on setting up a fish tank and all the important parts of the fish tank. Hey, wait a minute. I think I just said that. Anyways, fans, let's take a closer look at the 29-gallon fish tank. One important part or one important piece that you're going to need for your fish tank is some kind of furniture to put your fish tank on. I have a 29 gallon fish tank and when I bought this uh, furniture piece here this is an aquarium stand or fish tank stand if you down in Texas we call them fish tanks anyways you want to get an adequate stand that can hold um, your fish tank so pretty much you know I went to PetSmart you can go to any of your pet stores or your mom and pa pet shop um, they'll be able to help you with that and let you know if the furniture you're looking at is adequate enough and strong enough to hold your fish tank because once you have you know 29 gallons of water or however much water you have in your tank the tank gets pretty heavy combined with rocks wood ornaments everything fish tanks are no joke so you know you got to take it serious because if you don't respect the fish tank the tank won't respect you and the tank will be coming down on your body and maybe hurt your children if you if you have children in the home but yeah you want to have a great um, piece of furniture I like this piece of furniture here because you got two doors I know it's kind of dark but I got all the lights off so you can see the tank better I got two doors usually uh, over here I've got my uh, filter cartridges um, I'll show you a little bit about my filter here in a minute I have some medicine here this box may be empty yeah this box is empty but I uh, had a fish with skinny disease a while back let me get this out like I, I collect clown loaches or, or um, keep clown loaches and um, you know if you get a clown loach or a fish sometime from the uh, pet store um, I don't know I didn't really notice this but I got must have got the run of the litter and he had um, something called skinny disease where the head of the clown loach gets really thin near the middle and near the top like it's pushed in together like someone was squeezing their head together or you know making it really flat so I got the parasite guard here it's um, pretty good medicine and it uh, prevents uh, parasites and, and clears them up and it was um, not only parasites in the water but internal parasites in the fish itself right here I usually keep um, my fish food let me turn the, the light on real quick so you can see this but I keep my fish food in there and on that top area I keep my air air pump my air pumps really big looks like this it's a big old uh, thing. Um, it has four little feet on it, so, and the feet sit on rubber, so it's not vibrating all over the place. You might be able to hear it. I'm not sure. It has two um, outlines here, or you know, two lines that go out, um, so you connect this airline tubing to each um, to each thing, and then the airline tubing goes all the way to whatever your thing is. So. If you look right here, the airline tubing comes in from the top. Now, it looks like there's two, but keep in mind that's just a reflection. Airline tubing goes all the way down, and on this one, it, it controls the action of the um, treasure tank. The bubbles fill inside that treasure tank, and then it releases just one big bubble to the top. Um, so that's part of that. I also have a valve on here. A control valve which I can speed it up I can turn it lefty to speed up the amount of bubbles that come out let's see there we go see all that more the more bubbles come out um, gives a lot of great um, 
water movement but my clown loaches sometimes get a little freaked out so I keep it on the lowest uh, setting so normally I, I turn it about all pretty much just all the way tight there's still air bubbles that get through there this line over here I turn all the way tight um, usually during the night but during the day I'll turn it on and I have a uh, bubble wand or uh, yeah in the back so I'll turn it on I normally turn it all the way to the max and you'll see a little bubbles here in a minute come out of the bubble wand there they come right there so bubbles are um, really good for fish because it provides more oxygen to the fish let me zoom out a little bit and get a little full effect there and that line comes through that corner there I got my thermometer back there I need to bring forward I'll talk about that in a minute it goes all the way down over here and I've kind of got it tucked under and it goes in it connects up into there and there's the bubble wand right there so it brings a lot of air to the fish so airline tubing and um, air pumps are really good and also it adds a really cool effect to your fish tank some of the foods since I have clown loaches they're usually have the mouths on the bottom of their heads I got these these are freeze dried shrimp and these are really big let me kinda I'll let you look at the fish while I unscrew this with one hand these are some big old things here in the here we go right here oh man I just spilled some on the floor but anyways I like these and I don't like these um, to get these to fall in the tank I have to um, kind of squeeze them because I have to squeeze all of the air out of these and then they'll float down uh, to the bottom um, but when the fish eat eat those shrimps um, they leave a, a pretty good mess because you know like people they're they're gonna go for the good part the meat part they're gonna be not eating on that skeleton part you know so that usually goes up into the filter in the back and I'll I'm gonna show you the shrimp pellets here these are shrimp pellets the fish love these and I'm gonna um, feed the fish in a minute of shrimp pellets because that's one of their favorites um, another um, another fish favorite is the blood worms blood worms it's another fish favorite and I'm trying to open my blood worms right now all right wow I must have tightened it on tight all right let me show you some blood worms and is um, Kiefer Sutherland said in the lost boys See if you remember this. Do you like worms, Michael? Worms? Worms. Worms. So those are uh, blood worms. <laughs> so we'll feed them some, uh, some shrimp pellets here in a minute. Um, let me show you um, some other things on the fish tank that make an important fish tank. Um, there's something in the fish tank community known as substrate substrate is the gravel that's on the bottom of fish tanks normally or rocks pebbles um, for me I used to have gravel but I switched over to play sand got the play sand in a, a 50 pound bag I think it was 50 pound bag from Home Depot um, or it could have been 10 pound I really don't remember but it's called quick uh, quick Reet is the brand of it and it's this um, you know play sand you put in kids sandboxes when you have a uh, play sand opposed to gravel well actually for all substrates you need to rinse them off with a, a water hose try to get all the dirt um, out of the, the substrate and you're you're probably like well the sand <laughs> sand is dirt in it um, it is but you still can rinse the sand out and make it cleaner than what it is 
So there is my substrate. What's great about sand substrate, if you have quarry catfish or um, clown loaches or um, you know the fish that have the mouths um, on the bottom, they'll dig around in there and play around in the sand, search, scavenge, do a lot of cool stuff with that sand and it doesn't hurt their barbels, which is the, uh, the little whiskers that come down on them. My quarry catfish um, had gravel for years and some of his barbels are damaged. Here he is right here. This is old man Jenkins right there. And his barbels are kind of short. They should be a little longer, but um, he still gets around and has fun. He's my oldest fish in the tank, followed by my pleco fish, which we call simply call him Sucka. And I don't know where he is right now. I think he's upside down under here. You can see the reflection of the camera there. I don't know where he is though. He's probably hiding out under the wood. Um, so you need your substrate. Uh, another thing you'll want is of course you're going to need your filter. Let me show you my filter. My filter came with the tank as an all-in-one. It's the Top Fin 30. It's great for 30 gallon tanks. Show you what it looks like first. It has an intake. That long pipe there has those little slits cut in there right there. The water goes through there. It gets sucked through there. So any food, feces, anything they kick up in the background will usually get its way over there and get sucked up in there. Get sucked up in there. On this side it has a valve here so you can control the inflow. I leave mine all the way open. Take the top off here. So you can see, and I'll just put that over there for now. So um, comes up there, goes through there, spits out in the back, and it carries over into this side. It fills, there's a little uh, retaining wall down in the middle, just comes up a little bit. The water comes in here, flows over the wall into this side, where I have a filter here. This is kind of a filter cartridge. You can um, take this filter out. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to run the risk of stuff dirtying up my tank. But um, you take this piece out. You take this little black piece off. It just snaps off right here. That little piece there. You can open it up like this. Like you, Both sides open up. I can't open it because it's locked in place. And then you can... Um, you can throw away this uh, filter part here, this white you know, filter part, and then um, just throw that in the trash. And when you do your uh, new filter changes, you get a new filter, say like this. They, they look like that. You'll, you'll keep the black thing, you'll put the, the black thing in there, all the way in there, so it gives it some uniformity, so it's not just flapping and bending in the wind. And also they come with little uh, packages of carbon here. Um, I also have more carbon in a little uh, jar that I, that I use as well. Um, and you put it a new, a new one in. I usually change mine every two weeks. Um, and I usually do a water change. Usually I do a water change once a week, but sometimes I go two weeks on it because, you know, I get a little lazy. But my water stays pretty clean. Let me put this back on. Um, in the future, I am probably going to be upgrading to a canister air filter. The canister air fil filter I'm looking at is called the Fluval 306, I think. It's a canister filter. This filter here is a hang on the back filter. Okay? It's, you know, let me turn, I don't want to turn my camera all sideways, but here's the bottom of it here. It comes up here and it hangs over. If you could see, it hangs on the back of the filter. It's a hang on the back filter. Has a cord. It's your power cord right here. The cord plugs into a surge protector down down here. So everything is um, concealed. One thing when you're cleaning the tank, when you're cleaning um, your tank, I always recommend to turn the filter uh, off, you know, unplug the filter and do this. Take this Take this piece out. Take this piece all the way out, especially if you have sand. I mean, if you have gravel, you don't have to, but if you have sand, just take that all the way out and put it in your uh, cleaning bucket. 
or your water change bucket. So we'll put that back in there and it just slides right on in. Has a magnet on the bottom and the magnet sucks all that water back in. See the water getting slowly sucked back in. And then there it goes and it flows and it flows out that little waterfall thing there. That way there's always water circulation in the tank. Filters are very important. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, filter. Another thing I have in here is this blue little thing, this blue cylinder looking deal. That is a heater. I keep my heater, this thing really heats up quick. I keep it at about the um, three o'clock mark. Um, but it really heats up quick. My temperature I always stand and strive for. Let me get my thermometer here. Some mercury style thermometer, I think. I don't know. It has these little deals in the bottom. Don't know what that is. But I always try for a um, about 80, 78 to 80. You're usually supposed to keep your thermometer in the front or the opposite corner that your. Um, that your uh, heater is in that way you know you get accurate readings throughout the tank so that's your um, heater and you always want to have a thermometer I don't go with those strip thermometers um, I like a real deal thermometer preferably the ones that kind of float in there you can also get the ones that have the suction cup you know that just suction to there but I don't really like the look of suction cups on my front you know I think suction cups are okay in the back to hold my airline tubing in place and I actually need to get maybe a couple more so that is your filter your substrate your heater um, you got your air air um, air pump with some air novelty items the uh, tank and the treasure chest other than though that um, bubble wand and then the treasure chest everything else I'm going for the real life look I've got real moppany wood in here. This is wood from Africa. It's one of the best drift woods and it's one of the best sinking drift woods. Pretty much just floats right down to the bottom. Um, you do want to soak this drift wood, this moppany drift foot wood for about, um, I did mine for about two weeks. Um, and what I would do, I would fill the uh, bucket up with very hot water, my water changing bucket. I would fill it up with like hot water out of the bathtub. And then I just leave the wood in the, um, in the bucket overnight then the next day around 24 hours later I'd pour the water out put the hot water back in let it soak in there and what this does on mop any wood it release this thing's called tennis tennis it's this stuff that discolors the water but it's all natural it's not gonna do too much it may raise your pH levels a little bit but it's um, all natural and it actually gives a cool color effect to the tank I just changed my water out a couple days ago so I haven't got the effect yet but don't be alarmed if your water changes um, the um, light that I'll show you in a minute is a light for plant color and I'll show you that in a minute it's a fluorescent bulb but before I do that let me look let me show you my Anubius plant then I have some Java fern your basic Java fern um, about two uh, cylinder packages you want to get these you don't want to get these just out of a tank because they may have snails on them but they come pre-packaged in this gel like substance so I took one and put it under these river rocks here. I got a little three-way action, three river rocks kind of stacked in a triangle. And then the other ones I just kind of mushed into the little crevices of the moppany wood. So these plants require don't require a lot of light and they're easy to manage. Uh, let me show you my light that I have because I forgot to tell you about this part. A lot of tanks you see may not have a can 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 canopy on top. Mine came with a canopy because I had a, a top fin 29 gallon starter kit now this canopy just fits on the top like this see just kinda you just fit it inside and then see it just kinda fits there there's a little indention that just fits in there it has a door on here to change um, you know add some food or whatnot a lot of people ask me, well, doesn't the light get, you know, I've got bubbles going in here. I've got a big old bubble that, that explodes every, you know, minute or two. Doesn't that get your fluorescent light um, wet? And don't worry about these, these dust here. This is just some of the bubbles pop. But now let me show you. You lift this piece up, right? See right there? 
that is um, plastic or plexi and it goes all the way down all the way over there so this plexiglass is clear and it protects the bulb that's right in there see and it just kind of fits over this little um, thing here there so you'll want to get a canopy some people don't do canopies I'm sure like on a 150 gallon tank you probably wouldn't have a canopy you'd probably just have a floating uh, a floating high fluorescent bulb but uh, they're really good and I think you know uh, anything I'd probably say a 60 gallon and below is, is you know you would want a canopy on it but I'm really happy with my tank this is actually uh, go back to the mopany wood there and there's old sucker right there he's doing upside down sucking on some of the wood there see the wood has some uh, sand on it because that guy there he kicks up a lot of sand um, that's actually two pieces of wood right there there's the piece on the left and then the piece on the right I have kind of just leaning up against um, that top piece kind of leans into that bottom piece so it kind of creates a little uh, tunnel right there because they like to swim in the tunnel they dug out a little trench there sometimes they like hiding under there and they also dug out a little I'm trying to get them to dig out a trench in the front I had to move the wood because he kept kicking sand on the bubble wand and of course the sand some of the sand was going up into my my power filter right there but what I'm gonna do now um, I've showed you some things on the fish tank um, I want you to please um, comment or uh, comment rate subscribe I'd like to hear back from you if you have any questions say you are a uh, you know just wanting to start out your own fish tank or um, maybe you already have a fish tank but it's smaller and you want to go to something bigger like a 29 gallon 30 gallon kind of like kind of like this tank here so let me go ahead and uh, encourage you I'm gonna encourage you to put some of those comments down um, let me know what you think uh, I'm gonna drop some food in here and see if we can get our clown loaches to come out one thing I like they like, love about this treasure chest here it has a big old hole in the side so a lot of them like to uh, yeah go in there see there's one right now so I can prop they can probably get about maybe like I have nine clown loaches I'm betting all of them could fit in there in some form or fashion but uh, let's go ahead and put some of the um, some of the pebbles in there I don't have my water up to the very brim some some of the, the ladies will love to put the water all the way up to the top I like there to be you know an inch to two inches up there because especially for this big bubble that that uh, that goes we'll see it just goes whoop, boom and gets the water there's my heater it just came on regulating that heat let's put some of these shrimp pellets in here usually I try to put in about 12 to 14 that way everyone gets a little bit you know and we'll see if our loaches come out one guy does he got one yet um, he got his what I like about it, it's like they get theirs and boy they take off because if they don't someone will come in except that that little thing from them so it's kind of fun to watch them come out and they're chowing down and eating on their food and stuff scoop back a little more so they're good and getting after it so I have nine clown loaches one quarry catfish and one pleco that we call sucka the uh, my kids a Spongebob fan and there was a character in Spongebob called old man Jenkins so my quarry catfish his name is old man Jenkins and it fits him just right because he's lived a long time so anyways folks if you're on the fence about getting a fish tank or you want to start getting in the the fish business uh, don't be afraid you know just if you really love um, fish and, and fish tanks and aquariums um, and you're driven and, and you you clean your tank a lot and, and everything they're really cool and they really um, create a great centerpiece for any room so this is the great legend I hope you enjoyed this um, 29 gallon fish tank video how to video etc etc and if you have any questions and you want to set up a fish tank of your own contact me youtube.com forward slash r.e95 subscribe today 
We're your one-stop spot for comics, cooking, and gaming. And sometimes we'll even have a fish tank video for you. Peace out and God bless.